Owen, give us your assessment of Montpellier as we head into a big European Cup weekend. Yeah, I think they're uh, an excellent team, very big pack with um, some very fast, dangerous backs. Uh, they got to the final of the top 14 last year. They were leading after half an hour against Toulouse and they turned Toulouse over in the first scrum of the game, um, which is obviously, uh, you know, it says a lot about their pack and I think that probably sums up the challenge we're going to face this weekend. Also, the time of the year we're playing them, you know, it's the first game in the Heineken Cup. They're still full of belief in, in this competition. Um, they missed the game last week due to mum's breakout. Um, so they're obviously going to be fresh and, and looking forward to put a marker down in this competition and uh, for their own league back at home. Um, I suppose just on, on the, the subject of Brian Owen, everybody knows that his stage of his career is going to come eventually, that he won't be around anymore. So is there almost a chance here to sort of try things and, and see how what life after Brian will be like? Yeah, I don't think it's a matter of trying things. You know, we've got a few guys tried and tested already in terms of Owen O'Malley, Fergus McFadden, uh, Gordon Darcy. You've got three guys there straight away ready to step up to the plate. Um, beneath that, you've got guys that do train with us every day who are, who are excellent, Brendan Mack and you know, those kind of guys. So I don't think it's a case of, of you know, having taken a gamble on anyone. You know, I think the guys who are there are good, excellent players and no one, no one will be thrown out there you know, at the drop of a hat. Anyone who gets that chance will have earned it and deserved it. Um, and I think we're lucky to be in a situation where we've got plenty of guys like that. Um, and not only that, but I think they've got the mental approach to the game that they wouldn't be phased by it. I think they're ready for it and uh, hopefully they'll you know, push on and offer something different, um, which might turn out to be a benefit for us. So the message to people who say, can Leinster cope over the course of a long season without Brian O'Driscoll would be yeah, very much so? Yeah, I think so. There's two things, you know, the fact that Brian is, is the way he is and will deal with his injury the way he, he will, and which is, which is great for us knowing that he's going to be able to do that and knowing that he'll put himself in the best possible position to come back. And the second thing is that, you know, we have good players ready to step in and play and, you know, create competition there for when Brian comes back. I think they're the two key things you need. Um, you know, and that way people can be can look at Brian and see him working hard, and, and you know, and, and be happy for him that he's working hard and going to come back. And then at the same time, you can look at the team and know the team is performing well because we've got guys who can step up. You're facing into the Heineken Cup. You're trying to retain your crown again. How hard a thing is that to do? Because when you won it the last time, it showed how hard it was to do the, the following season, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we got to the semi-final and lost away to Toulouse. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it is hard. People know who you are. People, you know, have, have seen a lot of you play. You know, and from that point of view, it's harder. The same point of view, from, from, from another point of view, you know, you get a chance to do something very special that not everyone gets a chance to do. There's only one team in the competition trying to do that this year. You know, there's only one team getting a chance to retain it, and that's us. So, um, you know, obviously these chances don't come along very often, and hopefully we can do everything we can to uh, to retain it. Obviously, you don't focus on, on retaining it. You focus on each game as it comes, and hopefully you'll be sitting on a sun lounger uh, somewhere in July, realise, oh God, we've done it twice, you know, and um, that will be something special. Uh, if you look at the teams who've done that already, it's they've been special teams. Not only special clubs, but special teams within those clubs uh, over that period of time, and, and it's something we'd love to, we'd love to do. Um, but we won't get ahead of ourselves. We'll just focus on each game as it comes, and I think the nature of the opposition this week uh, will ensure that.